I am Muhammad Naji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing how can we create a cron job or a scheduler using AWS, CloudWatch and the Lambda functions. Okay. So here I have created a REST API endpoint called ping. Okay. So this is done using Flask application. I mean Flask framework. Okay. So this is uh, very simple. I have installed uh, uh, Flask package and uh, using this uh, 1020 lines, we can create a, like very easily we can create a REST endpoint using Flask. Okay. So this is the, this is my endpoint ping. So what I need to do, I need to call this ping or like I need to trigger this particular REST endpoint on a periodically, on a periodic basis, like on a, on every two minutes I have to call or on or like on every one minute I have to call okay so that is my requirement so for that I have written this particular rest endpoint now let me run this okay okay so in our browser we can just type localhost 5000 we will get this particular endpoint see success I am getting the success and uh, here we can see that ping is triggered okay I am writing to console okay so the time is 741 fine so this is a local host right so now we need to make this public so I don't want to deploy this into AWS or like any other uh, like a deployment servers what I am going to do I am going to make use of ng-rock application okay for that what I have done since I am using Ubuntu machine I just installed ng-rock in my machine okay now now I am going to run ng-rock so I can type ng-rock HTTP and 5000 is my port okay so this ng-rocks will give a public URL for my localhost See, this is my public URL and I am getting hello world here. So, I am going to call my endpoint. I am getting success here. We can check the um, terminal here. We can see that ping is triggered. Okay. So, this is working fine. Okay. Now, what we need to do? We need to call this particular endpoint like on, a, on every one minute. Okay. So, so what we have done, we have created this particular REST endpoint, okay. Now, we need to write a lambda function. This lambda function will trigger the REST endpoint, okay. After that, we need to create a AWS scheduler. This will periodically trigger the lambda function, okay. Maybe we can set like one minute, two minute, one hour, two hour, one day or two days, something like this in this scheduler. So whenever a scheduler have that particular time, it will trigger the lambda function. Okay. So this lambda function will eventually trigger the rest endpoint. Okay. So we can go and create this lambda function. Okay. So I am in my. Okay. Let me go to that home screen. Okay. So here we can search for lambda search for lambda function okay now let me go and create a lambda function here i can give name my ping demo function okay i'm going to change the runtime to python 3.8 okay now i am going to create so i have already created a course for or the playlist for lambda functions so if you guys are like not aware of lambda functions you guys can go and check the particular videos okay so this will take couple of seconds yeah this is done okay now let me create a test here our test does not need any parameter i'm just giving my test function okay i'm going to save this 
now now we what we need to do we need to trigger our rest endpoint from here for that we need to import a package called url lib3 okay here i need to make a pool here url lib3 pool manager now i need to call the rest endpoint from here http request i am going to make the get call then i need to give the url rest endpoint public rest endpoint okay so this is my public rest endpoint let me copy this and i am going to paste it here okay so now i'm going i'm not going to change this return okay so now let me deploy this okay, don't forget to deploy it now let me try test yep test is working fine now let me make this side by side okay so that like we can see our terminal also i'm going to run the test again see i'm getting this trigger now it is 746 and 38 second let me run it again now it is 746 and 45 okay so this is working fine excellent now what we need to do so we have completed the first two part now we need to create a scheduler for this one aws scheduler for that right away we can here just click on scheduler no, not scheduler we can search for cloud watch so this is my cloud watch let me click on the cloud watch so here we can see couple of menus here left side panel so just expand the event just click on rules then we, we have to select this particular amazon event bridge i can create a rule you can give ping rule demo okay so i need to create a scheduler so i am going to select this option schedule next i want to run it on a every one minute okay so here we can we can set like any specific time but in this particular case we need to create a scheduler that will ping every 1 minute so let me set 1 and i can set minute okay now let me click on next okay <clears throat> so here i am going to select a aws service so let me select it as a lambda function see our lambda function is created i mean is showing here my ping demo function so let me select it so one thing we need to take care so the lambda function and this particular cloud watch or this scheduler should be in the same region okay so i have created the lambda functions in mumbai region and i i am creating this scheduler in the same mumbai region okay that is why it is showing this uh, the lambda functions here otherwise it will not shown here it will not show here okay so ensure that the regions are same okay now i am going to click on next next i am going to click on the create rule so the rule is created so this will be triggering our application rest end point okay okay so what i will do i will pause it for like couple of minutes so that we can see some logs here okay okay i am back so here we can see that it is triggering every 1 minute okay started on 
uh, 1950 that is 750 pm then 751 then 752 then 753 okay so this is uh, working fine okay so what we have done we have created a rest endpoint then we have created lambda functions and that is connected with the aws scheduler so that is all in this video i hope this video like helpful for follow you guys so please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye